Hello and welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. If you're joining us for the first time, you've missed enough, but we still have a lot more for you. So don't be bothered. Um, we've talked about um, TJ Ed North and we've also talked about the offsprings of Satan. But moving on away from all of that, we have popular singer Oluwatosi Ajibadi, better known as Mr. Easy. You'd be surprised that his name doesn't actually fit him, in my opinion. Anyway, has lamented after getting robbed in Ghana during one of his shows. I just thought his name would be Chinedu or something. Anyway, taken to Twitter, Mr. Easy offered to reward anyone who could find and return his gadgets. He wrote, I beg, if anybody see my laptop for Accra, make it holla me. I go give him some cool make cash. Me. I go give him some cool cash. Go yeah, on. that's what I say. Go on. <laughs> um, but on the real, anybody way find him. I promise I will do anybody well. will find them. I promise I will give them. Okay. If you open my laptop, you go see this artwork for the place if you where open you. Open my laptop, you go see this artwork <laughs> for the place where. You for enter password. Where you for enter password? <laughs> Find Mr. Easy Laptop hashtag. Be like, ah, now wow. Be like, I go tiptoe lane, go beg the boys for there. No. Be like, I go tiptoe lane, go beg the boys for there. I sure say them, them be go listen to me. I sure say them go listen to me. Me, Seth, I be hustler one time. Me, Seth, I'd be hustler one time like that. Hey, hello. Anyway, in another Thank tweet, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Easy called. Like I know. When the pastor <laughs> is making it. They were saying, you didn't get it. Anyway, in another tweet, Mr. Easy basically called for support from Ghanaian singers, likes of Sakodia, which he called a governor, Chatawale, and Stoneboy to help retrieve his properties back. This is clearly something that is um, really important to him. Um, uh -uh, I'm okay. All this speaking <laughs> English, <laughs> speaking English is giving me stress. Um, but yeah, it seems like it's clearly important to him. Like I know how it feels to lose stuff. I can be really careless. My mom used to say to me when I was younger that. If you could lose your butt, you would. I wouldn't. I'll, I'll have been buttless for a long time because I'll have left it on some chair, some party, somewhere. Um, so I know how it really hurts, especially when you now get older and then there's smartphones which are like infused with our lives. Um, it feels like you've lost a child or something. So I don't know what's important to him. Maybe songs are in there. Maybe you know masters. Now, no one um, created right. Your phone, your laptops, especially in this digital age, you're like the. The, your tools for work, mm. uh, which is why we keep telling um, at um, Niger Police NG, right? That look, not everybody that carries a laptop or uses an iPhone is a Yahoo boy. Mm. Some of us just have a lot of work in there that we can't afford to lose it. I got a new phone recently and I had to just back it up and get all my old stuff back. I couldn't use the new phone until I was able to do that. Why? Mm. Because most of my information are in there. If you ask me for anything, I can't be going back to the old phone to get it so i understand where mr easy this guy probably has a new album in that mm. laptop that no one has access to because then it's that is also clearly not on the server uh -huh. yes it looks like something that's not on the internet yeah, so yeah. this this looks like it's really contact do you know how many numbers you have on your phone that you can never get back onto your yeah, rome mm. romania italy mm. you understand like you have to be in certain places to get those contact back they're not people that are on the internet that you can just yeah, check them up on Instagram and be like, okay, can you send me your number? Those people, you have to see them one on one, but you have those numbers. These are people that you've had contact with, mm -hmm. and your phone is gone. Man, you beg anybody. You. I think I, I'm just going to reflect on the security um, system because mm. I've noticed that uh, during December period, the crime rates are always kind of crazy yep. because of this festive period. So I just think um, we as an individual we should take more um, precautions mm. when we when we are going uh, when, when we are going out with our phones, our laptops. Because yeah. just yesterday I met up with my cousin. He was telling me that they robbed him around, um, I think Aja Road. So that just made like created like an eye opener even mm. when i'm going i'm going inside my car inside my sister's car she's always like put your oh, phones yeah. under your lap and or at mm. the back of the seat mm. so i just think this period we should 
like yeah. make a mental effort to be more careful. Well, let me ask you a question. Being this fine, don't you think I may just steal you? Oh Ooh. my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> tell me, um, I, I think, guys, we, audience, me and you, let's go. Take the show. Enough precautions. Let's just frame <laughs> them out of the, the thing. Let's do the show since they need a moment. Clearly, <laughs> um, but anyway, I really like that I, um, aspect that you brought because I, I felt as well that Mr. Easy's um, tweets kind of subtly reminded us that yeah, actually True. this is the season for a lot of that mm -hmm. um i also um wanted to i know this is me being really feminist now but i also want to bring in rape as well this is the period where they rape at house parties Jeez, like, about you, you, you like <laughs> no 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 as in like you know there's a lot of that there's a lot of i mean while there is a lot of celebration and so much is going mm -hmm. on really quickly um not chapter. everybody is out there to just celebrate a lot of people have hidden agendas so i think in general for everything and just because i'm being a woman now that's the only thing that comes to my mind but i'm sure there's other things even internet fraud mm -hmm. um you know i don't know what else security wise but just get really really alert with everything where you swipe your cards where you put your pin numbers um, where you shop online there's a lot of scams going on a lot of false sales or whatever but you know that for me is really important because I know that most of this hmm. contest when I was a lot younger I used to go home with no phones like I'll enter my, my the car the zip is open phone is gone wow. and all of that I don't know how it's gonna be with this sort of lockdown and yeah, things are a bit slower than normal, mm -hmm. but we can still definitely take and caution. And then I also want to just touch on the fact that, yes, it's the Christmas season, but this is the time where you can be a whole lot nicer to people. Because yeah. in as much as you're celebrating, there's some people that can't even afford to eat. Yeah. So try your best because this that that's the true definition of haters and mm. they're not even they're not haters because they want to be mm. but because they can't afford oh, what yeah, you true. can yeah. and when you are flexing it and putting it all in their faces just remember just look at your side and look at that yeah. person that looks on great as and eats and be like yo come join me dine with anybody be nice to people be yeah, good your to security people. guards Show your love. house go that yeah. person yeah. in your Me, house um, you couple do this yeah. christmas like this. okay yeah. oh, i turn it into two church okay. it's okay, okay. we've had <laughs> Nigerian top five Christian um, Christmas, you see, Christian into my mouth now. Mm -hmm. Nigerian top five Christmas traditions okay. is something that we want us to talk about really quickly. Uh, and I think this is mostly for our outer TV viewers, people who don't really know for sure, or even the I just got backs, um, who don't really know for sure what the Christmas tradition feels like. Um, this is for you guys. So um, the first one that you say is the tra Nigerian tradition. Um, for Christmas is bangers and fireworks. One of the easiest ways. I did that on Monday. <laughs> oh, nice. I feel like a child. Oh, okay, okay. We okay. We're, come, we're, we're going to talk about that very, very quickly. One of the easiest ways to tell Christmas to tell Christmas is approaching is through bangers and fireworks. As the D-Day approaches December 25th, which is Friday, the intensity of deafening noise increases in step with the final grand accumulation on Christmas Eve. Um, and I'm, I was actually going to say that I haven't heard any yeah, so because, I'm glad right, that you. So the reason banger. why I would say um you haven't heard any is because um the Nigerian government is quite against it. There was a time when it was causing mm. a lot of noise pollution, and it was confusing us from who was the real arm robber. So there's a certain I think there's categories to the ones you can purchase right now. Mm. There's one that goes really loud, like, like a, they call it a bomb. I I don't worry, my childhood was amazing. So they call it the bomb. Once you put that, that stuff is really loud, like you don't even know when someone else is shooting. So the arm robbers even come in with bangers and you think it's just the street kids and before you know it they are busting into your door so i think there were some restrictions placed on it so but you can do the firecrackers you don't have to make a lot of noise mm. so i did a lot of that i had this um one that once you light it up you roll it it just rolls and goes around mm. like a tire and then it's just showing the sparkles and stuff mm. so that was really fun i did it with my girlfriend and then we had amazing time Aww. yeah okay and you're like he has a girlfriend so while he's teasing you please I know, right? remember please, please, please. before you can be second place Open nice. relationship, <laughs> guys. Yeah. Remember something wow. called entanglement. Okay. You know, um, Jada Pinkett and um, uh, what's her name? And what's his name? Uh, August Al <laughs> Alcina. Yes, you guys know that story, mm -hmm. right? And you know about Will Smith and Jada Pinkett. So, yes, my, yeah. my girlfriend don't mind when That's I have some, you know, yeah. entanglement. Well, in your yeah, talk about that. Mm -hmm. if but what, what makes you think Anila is in the girlfriend? Why are you jumping? If Anila isn't what? The girlfriend. Uh, uh, Anila isn't the girlfriend. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> you have to deny me on national. I'm sorry. You have to deny me on national. No, is that oh, what yes, you have to do? Yes, 
Should yes. I walk out? You should, you should have told me. Like, I don't know how you did it. If you were in traffic and you were playing banger, but you're also in the same place, blowing bangers together, like, how did it work? It, it works. Don't worry. Don't, <laughs> don't, oh, wow. I don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about it. Anyway, anyway um, yeah, I've never liked bangers. I thought they were really upset. Like, like, maybe it's the way I was also introduced okay. to it. Okay. Like, at, when we're much younger at church, mm -hmm. by the time it's, I think it was crossover, when you come out of church, it's just bangers all over the place mm -hmm. and i remember we used to try it was like a like a maze run or something you don't have to run and avoid a banger touching True. you and i remember one time banger touched me so since then i've just it's, it's as yeah. good as like fearing a wild dog mm -hmm. for me like it's really upsetting I but i really like fireworks okay. i'm not gonna lie um we used to do fireworks all the time i don't think i've stopped that when even in my travels i still it was, yeah. fireworks is kind of like a global thing i think bangers you can see maybe for lagos mm -hmm. nigeria but but fireworks, we still kept on doing outside. I think bangers are just um, more dangerous because you see some people, they were older, they just peel up their faces. Eh? Well, yes, I, when I was still young, uh, I was young, a guy actually held it close to his face and just peeled the side. But hmm. please, uh, so that's why I think they have to um, create a restriction. But please, did you ever do this thing, like try experiments with bangers, like put uh, a sand inside a bottle, then throw bangers Okay, oh, now okay. we're going to another level. The second, <laughs> the second tradition. No, our generations are different. Oh, mm. that's it. Don't say that. It sounds creepy when you're dating as someone that's out of your generation. Okay, let me just stop now. Let me stop now. The I'm next, <laughs> the next, no, she, she's an adult. Mm -hmm. The next yeah. uh, Christmas tip we Asian. have, you know, to tell that we are in a festive season here in at least in Lagos, Nigeria, mm -hmm. is traveling in traffic. This is probably the Christmas tradition nobody really likes. Mm -hmm. Not that traveling per se, but the accompanying the accompanying road traffic gridlock that comes with the season. But hey, Christmas Nigerian star wouldn't actually seem like Christmas without the frenzy of last minute travel, poly packed mm -hmm. travel cases, and of course the, tra the traffic bottlenecks on all major roads that say it is Christmas time. Trust me, there's no travel this period though. Um, there's a supermarket where I said that to the Igbo people who, as you're talking, as you're talking now, Days. all my Igbo friends are like Day. disappearing. Day. 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 They shouldn't get caught to stop being a snitch center. right now because there's a, there's a supermarket where I get groceries and the lady was supposed to travel, I think, on Monday and then she saw me yesterday. I went to get some stuff. I was like, ah, if I'm so angry, this is the first year I'm not going to go to my village. And what's she stopping her? COVID-19 restrictions starting. Mm -hmm. Well, the buses are open. They've never and stopped the them. They've never looked. Like, yeah, the they've never actually down. stopped them. The, the buses. Are, uh, that's something that I feel like we didn't really discuss. Because even when there was lockdown, even before November, mm. like the buses were still interstate moving travel. interstate travel. Yeah. So it's still. If she's really sad, she, she can actually go home. It's not a problem. People have gone. The way, she has week, people like me in Lagos are keeping a lot. Uh -huh, I mean. Except that. So yeah, people are actually traveling. So mm. I know the traffic actually gets worse. I, oh my gosh, I remember last year, I was in Lekki Roundabout, no cap for three hours. Mm -hmm. Like, we ate there. Where are you going? I was trying to get to Fowl's Bad Guys I concert or something. You're going to the anyway, the next on our list is jollof rice. Rice is number one staple food in Nigeria, and this wasn't always the case, mm -hmm. but that's a matter for another day. But now every Nigerian eats rice at least once every single day for a country, yeah. <laughs> for a country with a population of nearly 200 million people. The tra that, that translates to hundreds of thousands of tons eaten every single day. Well, if you think that that's a lot of rice, wait until Christmas Day <laughs> when there is so much rice served and eaten, you wonder where all the grains are coming from. Oh, that right. has always amused me. For people who don't know, today's our end of the year party. Yes, the Africa. Africa. Yes, and um, yes, um, yes, you are not invited in case you are thinking of. Coming. Oh, wow. Sorry. Yeah. You. you are not invited. We invite you next year, but this year is just for us, yeah? yeah? Cool. And I know the amount of, I know I'm part of the community, the rice that is coming in today. I think it's since Your last night. Your rice. Started. And then, yeah, so Christmas is all about rice. You know, there's nothing better than Nigerian rice when, it, when it's Christmas mm. Day, you know, jello rice. To be precise, yeah. So I'm looking forward to. A lot and of the rice highlight today. of sharing um, jollof rice with the tips um, your neighbors are going to give you. That was when I was young. Right. That was I was always looking forward to. When you serve your neighbors, they're like, "Oh my God, Merry Christmas!" Mm -hmm. Good money I send it. She gave me money. Oh, wow, wow. look at the generation that I grew up. They don't give me money. They will even tell you, say, "Mommy, I share fair and cook buy." They will complain that the means is too much. Right. You know? <laughs> if it's not like that burnt charcoal, like mm -hmm. fire rice, I'm really not interested. I don't know. 
Ariana. Oh my God, ni en sexto. Anyway, Christmas clothes. Uh, that's the next one on our list. Seriously, who wants to be left out of the new fashion at Christmas time? Absolutely no one. Okay, well at least very very few. This perhaps is the oldest Christmas tradition in Nigeria. From the early days of the introduction of Christianity by the colonists, Nigeria have come to associate Christmas festivals with the buying of new clothes or making of new dresses. Um, and it's just it's just continued like that. You have to have one outfit that just. Mm -hmm. Probably has never been seen before. Me. Why, do you, why did you bring this up? This one, this one is oh, pinning me on. Oh, 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 because oh. I have this tailor. Mm. His name is Jimmy. Uh -uh. He's my Calabar brother. Jimmy, they're calling you. Up. The guy Jimmy, was supposed wow. to make me my Christmas native. You mm. know, I, I already planned it. I even bought some Gucci okay. shoes and stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm going to wear it. My mom sent it to me for birthday, for my birthday. And this is my tailor said, ah, guy, I cannot deliver until February. It's pinning mm. me. So I don't have new Christmas cloth too. So in case you people want to donate cloth, but if not, we look fly every day. We're born fly. Me. So uh -huh. <laughs> don't worry. Just we'll still wear some. But Jimmy, I just called you out. In case you are planning on doing business with Jimmy, please change your mind. Wow. <laughs> 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 Oppa. And you're lovely. <laughs> Like I was saying before, uh, it's just a tradition for me. I, I feel like your outfit to... is Christmas, Christmas ready. Mm -hmm. I think so. Like Christmas she Day, you wore this. I wish we could no, stand on today. Plus TV uh, on Two Tea Time ago. Show, to be honest. No, she didn't. No. Last two days ago. Last mm -hmm. I'm planning for Christmas. Have you so, for Christmas? I, have to, I have to get have one thing for myself. For I have. I have. I actually got some stuff. Well, I didn't really buy it for Christmas. I but I bought accessories new to myself, clothes. but I didn't get clothes. I bought new clothes the, for the month of Christmas. December, my party, and I'm moving around. And one of those outfits I know I would probably wear, even if it's not for Christmas, but for like a special mm, whatever. Okay. I don't really do Christmas Day. Like well, that. some of us were born fly, so clothes no be problem. You don't say the clothes no be problem. Oh, yes, okay. And the final one Christmas decorations. If it is the season to be jolly and happy, nothing says I am jolly and happy than the decorations at Christmas time. Mm. As soon as December comes around, Nigerians dive into their closet for the Christmas decorations, take them out, dust them off, and hang them up. Nothing says I am ready for Christmas or season's greetings more than the decoration of Christmas. Which is why when you come to my house, you know you will not you will not see that I'm in the Christmas thing because I never put a Christmas tree up. I don't, I don't know. know. Okay, but um, in the spirit of Christmas, since we have a Christmas tree, so you don't have to be I, literal. I, it's okay. I, 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 like I, I don't have anything. Have anything. I so I can we just sing? Do you want to carry this tree to we the house while you're at you it? If I know, please. Okay, I will sing for you guys. <laughs> I wish you a Merry Christmas. Christmas decorations. We don't have Merry that much time. Okay, okay. You're not going to sing. No, we don't, no, have, time. No, we don't have time. We don't have time. Your voice is not nice. New Year. Maybe we're encouraging you. <laughs> <laughs> My own proud voice. Oh, oh, thank you, producer, for showing us the Christmas tree. The Christmas oh, my season. gosh. Oh, and your love, please. You. Your decoration yes. points. Did you decorate your house? Did mm -mm, you? Okay, no. if I did you. I'm enough decorations. Oh Lord. my God! <laughs> Wahala. Anyway, um, I think another bonus point would be bone straight hair. It seems like <laughs> it seems like if you don't have a bone straight hair this December, yeah. you're you are not already. ready for Christmas, girl. So some of us are like, yeah, we're well, okay with our dreadlocks, but <laughs> okay. So I went for one uh, a company's end of the year party okay. um on Sunday. So one of the girls who won a million naira, you know, she came huh? out. Yeah, she won a millionaire. Yeah, that company was giving this. They, they did that one night. Like, one million was flying everywhere. One million. They give out seven cars. What? Yes, and they were not just your regular cars. Like, I think I can even call them out because they are media partners. But, you know, that's free publicity. Call me up if you want me to call you out tomorrow. But um, the shot gave um, a chameleon. And then one of the girls that won the million, you know, she was working. AY was the um, was MC. AMC. And um, Ajebo. And then she flipped one head like that. AY say, People they buy straight bone, yeah. Your own street streets, you get on back. <laughs> <laughs> I laughed it. This one of a straight bone. I don't, I don't know, know what it is with the obsession with straight bone, I but it seems like I'd be born straight actually. It's it's born straight. Straight. Oh, it's born straight. Okay. Wow, now I don't know why it's trending this year. Yeah. Well, I, human I said, I said like yeah, no, the bone no straight. So you get and I don't even I actually don't like that hairstyle. Yeah. It's just too European, but that's just me. <laughs>